Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 060, Topics in Developmental Mathematics, Section 4.6, Problem 14. This is Section 4.6, Problem 14. It says 95% of 160 is what number? So we want to solve this as a proportion, but to use my process for proportion, we have to rearrange this. The question has to be in the form A is P percent of B, and that's really not what we have. We want the percent of in the middle. The question starts with percent of in the beginning. So I have to rearrange it. So what you want to do is lock into the word of, and what's to the left and right has to stay with it. So 95% of 160 has to go to the right portion of our sentence. And then what's left? What number? That's the unknown. That's going to be the A. That has to go to the beginning. So we rearrange the question to what number is 95% of 160. Now it's in that format A is P percent of B. A is the unknown, the what number is P percent of B. It fits. Now that I have it in the right form, I'll use the equation A over B equals P over 100. And as I fill that in, I start with the A, and you just go right around and make a circle. A is P percent of B. Just goes right around like that. So A, A is the unknown, so it will stay a variable. A is P percent, so P is 95, and percent goes in as 100 of 160, so the 160 goes under the A. So I have an equation with one unknown part, so I can solve that, and the way you solve it is you cross multiply and then divide. So on one side I'll have A times 100, which I can write as 100A, equals, on the other side, 160 times 95. That's not a multiplication that can be done easily in your head. The 100A will stay for now. Um, some of the other multiplications, I had tricks where I could ignore zeros, multiply what's left, put the zeros back. Um, that would amount to multiplying 16 times 95, which is still really big. So I'll just go off to the side and multiply it out. 160 times 95. So 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 6 is 30. Write the 0 from the 30, carry the 3. 5 times 1 is 5, plus the 3 more that we carried. 5 and 3 more is 8. Now, start the next row by putting a 0 to hold your place. 9 times 0 is 0. 9 times 6 is 54. Write the 4, carry the 5. 9 times 1 is 9, plus the 5 more that we carried. 9 and 5 more is 14. Add what's left. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 again is 0. 8 plus 4 is 12. Write the 2, carry the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5, nothing plus 1 is 1. So I have 152 or 2 zeros, so in other words, 15,200. So 100A equals 15,200. So we're not done yet. We want what A equals, not 100A equals, so we have to divide out the 100. So A is 15,200 over 100. Now, the thing is, the division is very easy. The two zeros at the end really just cancel off. And technically, what I'm doing, I'm reducing by 100. The two zeros, 100 divides into 15,200 evenly, and it divides into 100 evenly. So I have A is 152. So that's the answer. So if you go back to the original question, 95% of 160 is what number? The answer is 95% of 160 is 152. That's the answer.